In this section, we're going to look at action buttons. Now, an action button is basically a button you can insert into a slide, and when you click on it within the um, slideshow, you can jump somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the very last slide here, and I'm going to insert an action button. So I click on Insert, Shapes, go right down to the bottom here, and these are your action buttons. So as you can see, you've got various action buttons. So for instance, you can go forward, you can go back. This one allows you to go to the very beginning of the presentation, the very end of the presentation. Um, then you've got various other buttons here. So you can have a, a get information button. Um, you can insert a video. You can insert a document or a sound, or you can just have a blank button here, which you can do whatever you want with. So. This is the very last slide in the presentation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an action button, this one here, that will take me to the beginning. So I'll click on this, and then I just move the mouse pointer over, I press down, and I drag to define the area of the button. So I'll go there. The action settings dialog box then uh, pops up, and as you can see, by default, this one is going to hyperlink to the very first slide. So I'll click on OK to uh, confirm this and there it is. Now, I'll go back to the beginning of the presentation here and I'll click on the slideshow icon. So here I am, I'm going through the, the uh, slideshow. And these are the various uh, slides. Now when I get to this very last slide, normally if I click, that would be the end of it, but if I click on the button, there you are, it jumps back to the beginning of the presentation. So I'll press escape to come out of this. What I'm going to do next is to um, display this slide here. It says, how do search engines work? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to a slide that contains information about something called the Google Webmaster Guidelines, which is a, a set of very basic guidelines from Google about what it likes regarding SEO and what it doesn't like. So it's not um, you know, that extensive, but it's a starting point for SEO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this second slide here, how do search engines work, and I'm going to insert a button here that will say something like more information, and that will jump to the slide down here, which is um, basically talking about the Google Webmaster Guidelines. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, I display the slide here. Then I go to Insert, Shapes, and then down here you've got these various buttons. So in this case, I'm going to select the blank button, and I'll just define it by clicking and dragging across here. And at the moment, in the Action Settings dialog box, the action on click is set to no nothing. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to come down here and then I'm going to select one of these. So I want a particular slide. So I click on where it says slide. And the slide I want is number 12. That one there, that's the Google Webmaster Guidelines. So I'll click on OK, and then OK, OK to confirm that. What I'll then do is just click here and just type in some text. Like more info. Now I'll go back to the beginning of the presentation. I'll run the, pres I'll run the uh, presentation. So there's my first slide. When I get here, I'm talking about how search engines work. And if I click on uh, the action button here, there you are, it jumps to this uh, slide, which will give me more information in this case about the Google Webmaster Guidelines. What I can do is, um, now that this slide has been displayed to the audience, I could put another button on here that would actually take me directly to um, a live internet page where I can see more information about the Google Webmaster Guidelines. So if I go into Google and search for using the phrase Google Webmaster Guidelines, you'll see this uh, first result here um, basically is in the Google Search Console help. If I click on that, that displays the guidelines. 
So uh, if you're interested in SEO, it's worth uh, doing that. So remember, I just searched using the phrase Google Webmaster Guidelines and up this page came. And that gives you some very basic information from uh, Google. There's three sections here which open out, which you may want to read. As I say, it's not um, totally comprehensive, but the good thing is this is not a uh, SEO consultant's opinion. This is direct from Google. And it just tells you some of the basic things that Google likes and Google doesn't like. Anyway, in this case, I'm just going to click up here to select this URL and I'll press Control C to copy that into memory. Then I'll get rid of this and go back to where I was. So what I want to do now is I want to insert an action button here that will link directly to the Google Webmaster Guidelines. So again, I go Insert, Shapes, and down here, what I need to do is to look at these various options. So again, in this case, I'll just select a blank uh, button, and I'll just define the button by clicking and dragging. And this time, within the action settings, I'll click here to hyperlink to, then I'll click on the down arrow, and what I want to do is I want to hyperlink to a URL. So here, within here, I type in the URL that I've just previously copied into the clipboard. I'll click on OK and OK. And then I'll just click here and type some information so I know what the button is about. So I've just simply typed in see the guidelines. Now if I run this in slideshow, once this page has been displayed, if I click here, see the guidelines, you can see if I just move the mouse pointer over it, it comes up with the URL address. And if I click on this, so as you can see in this case, the Google Webmaster Guidelines is displayed within the default browser. Then if I wanted to, within the presentation, I could actually click here to expand to get more information. And I could talk about these, I could talk about this bit here and I could talk about uh, this information here. So basically I can spend as long as I want talking about the various information here on this live website. And when I've finished, I'll just close this down, then go back to where I was.